Are you manifesting a specific person and right now in this moment you were thinking about texting them to make sure that they haven't forgotten about you? Are you doing that? Is that what you really want to do? Send them a text so that they don't forget your ass. Well, instead, put the phone down and just keep watching me. We're going to talk. All right, now listen. They're not going to forget you. But the truth is it's you who are forgetting you. You are the one forgetting. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, who are you choosing to be right now? What state of consciousness are you embodying? Who do you believe you are? What identity are you having right now? Because if you are sitting there thinking, I haven't heard from a specific person. I need to send them a text just so I know that they're still there, that they still love me, that they're still interested. No, that's you being a desperate needy biatch. We don't chase, we don't chase specific people. Now on the flip side, I'm not telling you that you can never ever reach out to your specific person. I'm not saying that either. Truly, I stand by what I always say in my channel. I really can't do anything to mess up a manifestation. However, our behaviors are always telling us who we're really being. And when we wanna manifest a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship with any specific person, the idea is to start identifying as that self. Or another way of saying that is embodying that state. We could also call that the wish fulfilled. Do you really think the version of yourself that is in the most loving, fulfilling, committed relationship, do you think that version of yourself is sitting at home shitting themselves, wondering if we should reach out to SB so they don't forget you? Do you really think that's gonna be something you're gonna do while you're in that relationship that you're manifesting? Hell no, hell no. Now let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be authentically honest. You're doing it because you're feeling desperate. You're feeling needy. At minimum, you're feeling needy. You're listening to your fearful thoughts. And perhaps this is something you have always done in relationships. And if that's the case, why in the hell are we going to keep a behavior, a habit from the version of ourselves? that keeps manifesting shit we don't like. See, do you realize that when you won't give up habits like that, that you're just anchoring yourself to a reality you don't even wanna be in. So come on, let's snap, crackle, pop your ass into gear. Wanting to reach out with a specific person, that's not the issue. Doing it because you just wanna make sure they're still there, that's you in denial, not being authentic to yourself. That's you being a needy bitch. And listen, outside of manifestation, let's talk logical and literal. That is such a fucking turn off. It's a turn off. It's not sexy. It isn't. Whether you are into women or into men, it doesn't matter. It's a turn off. Who the hell respects someone who's always in a needy mindset? No one. But again, let's go back to manifestation where we belong. It's the wrong state. You don't wanna keep manifesting a reality that keeps providing you evidence to keep you being a desperate needy bitch, right? Come on, sometimes we can use logic to make sense of things. So I'm suggesting, ask yourself who you are really being right now. And if it's not the version of yourself that has the most loving, fulfilling, committed relationship, then it's time to make a new decision. Return to that. And when you're in your new state, your perception's gonna change anyway and you won't have that need of, let me just make sure they're there. You won't have that. And more than likely, they'll reach out to you. So, just saying. Somebody's gotta tell you.